I'm sitting on top of a car. Sometimes it feels like I've been sitting up here for hours. But one thing I've noticed in my life is that whenever I sit on top of a car, I want to talk about editing software. And let's do that. Let's get to know post-production. If you have a Mac, you probably have iMovie. If you have a PC, you probably have Windows Movie Maker. Either of those two programs are great for doing editing. Or, if you're a little more into it later on, you might want to use something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. If you don't have any of those things, let's say you have a Google Chromebook or something, then you can always take advantage of a lot of the online editing software that's out there. YouTube's got a great one, for example, but there are plenty of others, and I've got them listed on the site. Post-production can take a long time. Shooting videos like this, even when you have to get on top of a car, don't really take that long. It's when you get in the background and you start doing all the work that it takes a long time. If you're new to it, there are a ton of cool effects and things that you can do when you're in post-production. And you know what? Students, they love to check all those things out. So they will take much longer than you expect to do the first few post-productions. So plan accordingly. Give them a chance to check it all out, to get a good feel for it. Maybe give them the weekend to finish something so they can stay and play with it as long as they want to. This might happen to you as well. In the beginning, your first couple post-productions are going to take a long time. Later on, you're going to do it like in a snap. So get to know post-production, enjoy it, and have some fun. Talk to you later. I'm going to get off this silly car.